Support Laneside. Get something cool. Hey everybody and welcome to another edition of Laneside Reviews. As always, I'm the bearded beast, Rob Johnson, joined once again by Scoops Porter. And we've got some really exciting stuff to show you on this episode, so why don't we take it Laneside and see how it's stacked up. Alright guys, here's the new Redemption Solid from Hammer. As always, we're bowling on a easy, typical house shot. Now, unfortunately, with the current world health crisis going on, we can't do things the way we used to. We just can't get everybody in at the same time. So for now, we've decided to try something a little different. We're going to be doing a comparison of some of the new equipment to my personal benchmark ball, the Intel from Radical. And uh, we're going to kind of give an idea of, of how these balls stack up. So you'll see I've already left a 10 pin there. Um, I am playing, trying to play kind of in the middle of the oil on this uh, on this house pattern because this ball is extremely strong. The cover on this ball is one of the strongest that I've uh, I've thrown, especially out of the new stuff. This ball really digs in. You can see how early it is and how smooth it is just by the way that it's set up to the pocket there. Now this is a fully uncut review, so you're going to see some. Uh, you're going to see some shots here. We've already seen a 10 pin and a strike. Now, I want you to take particular attention here to how the ball sets up down lane. Watch how it comes off my hand very quickly and how slowly it makes it to the back of the lane. We really want to see how this ball is seeing the friction and how it's setting up. Now you can see a flat 10 pin there. When that ball got to the break point down lane, you could see it roll forward. Rather than continuing through the pocket, you could actually see it set up and start to roll forward through the pins. That, of course, led to it having the wrong kind of deflection through the, through the pocket. You could see that six pin just kind of fall standing up into the pit, or sorry, into the, into the gutter. So it didn't have the action to hit the 10 pin dead on. So we know that uh, this might be too strong for the shot that I'm on. So you see, I've moved in a couple of boards there. Same thing again. It's getting so much of the head pin because it's rolling so early that the three pin is hitting the six straight off into the gutter and it's not having a chance to take out the 10. So for myself as a low tilt bowler, this may not be the best thing for a regular house shot. However, for the speed dominant players or the players that have a lot of tilt that need the ball to fall into a roll, this is something that you can go to very early, create some friction for yourself on the lane, and not get lost in the oil. So I've got one more shot here. This one I backed off a little bit. You'll see my in my wrist position. I just took a little bit out of it to see if I could get it to scoot down lane just a little bit more. And you can see a 9-pin. That time it, it got down lane, but it had so much energy when it got there, it really turned left. So I think this is going to be a heavier oil ball or for players who need that help getting back to the pocket. Now we've got our benchmark ball here. This is my Intel. This is my middle of my bag. So this is what I judge every reaction off of. And we're going to compare this to the strike that we threw. So we can kind of get an idea of how it rolled here. And you can see I had a lot more speed on that, and yet it slowed down and hit the pocket at the same time. So that's why we were seeing those 10 pins later on. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so you never miss a show. So until next time, guys, we'll see you lane side.